So the session won't take very long and I suggest that if there's any questions that they're done at the end. Um, and I'm happy to answer any, any of those questions you may have. I'm also joined by Limberg, so my colleague from CCIVS who will be contributing to the finances part of the, um, of the presentation. And also members of the CCIVS comm team, Hamza and Donna, um, who are Hamza who's supporting to run the session and Donna who's joining us for the first time. Um, so yeah, the idea with this session uh, is to present to you um, a bit about the Living Earth campaign, uh, but also specifically about these micro grants that we have available. So as you can see, um, there's the Living Earth website, which is uh, marked on here. And the campaign itself, um, so just to explain then that the Living Earth campaign is built on two previous campaigns of CCIVS, which have been running over the last 10 years. So it's the IVS for Climate Justice campaign and the Raising Peace campaign. And it's really focusing on what it is to live a peaceful, harmonious existence on Earth and to respect the Earth as a living being. And we have three main areas of action. So there's hands-on actions, awareness raising and education and advocacy and visibility campaigns. And you can find out more information about the campaign on the campaign website, which is written on the slide. And here you have a bit more details about the different areas. So in terms of hand on actions, you have uh, examples, environmental cleanup, um, regenerative agriculture, access to clean water, um, improving opportunities for walking slightly the awareness raising and education so we're talking more about reduction of waste promotion of a circular economy embracing diversity capacity building and then advocacy and visibility campaigns ccivs developed a soul for life manifesto last year and it's really focusing on the importance of soil protection and management and this is something that we continue to promote also the role of international voluntary service in supporting ecosystem restoration by the work of volunteers all around the world. And then we have an, uh, several other papers which we focus on in terms of freedom of movement and inclusion policies. Um, this year, we have a specific project which is supported by the Council of Europe, by the European Youth Foundation, and it's focusing on youth advocacy for climate justice. So we're seeking to increase competencies in advocacy and political participation of young activists in the field of climate justice. And the different actions which are taking place this year, we had a training on international advocacy and peace in the environment, which took place in Kosovo. And this will be followed up by a toolkit and an online learning course. These will be published um, within the next month or so, and they'll be on the CCIBS website. So the online learning course is free to access for anybody who's interested, and the toolkit also free to download. And we continue the year with local actions for advocacy and climate justice, and then the online advocacy as well, which is an important element of the actions this year. So to talk a bit more about the local actions, for now you can see this map and we're hoping to fill it more. The dots you can see are the actions which have already joined the campaign. And you can find them again on the Living Earth website. And what we wanted to clarify is a bit, what do we mean by advocacy? Because it can seem, a bit of a vast subject and maybe not very clear about how individuals, organizations can, can support by doing advocacy. And what we want to explain is it can be any local action which is focusing on climate justice, which aims to engage people for positive change. And it can be taking place anywhere across the world. It can in fact also include online actions, but the most important is that it's really um, doing something for the earth. And, and this, and then in terms of the action that's taking place, then we will communicate about it and we'll raise visibility about it. And we'll use it when we develop tools in order to advocate for the work of organizations and people all around the world who are working for the earth. So we're asking you to register your projects, to mobilize your volunteers and to organize, organize these local actions. We're gonna share a link in the chat, um, which um, will allow you to register your, your action. And I'm gonna hand the floor over to my colleague Limberg, who's going to explain a bit about the financial support. There's financial support available um, to implement actions, but this support is only available for um, countries which are in Council of Europe 
countries, I'm afraid, as this is part of the funders' requirements. You are welcome to add any action to the, to the database, um, and we will promote it if it's accepted, but only ones in Council of Europe countries can actually apply to have financial support as well. So I'll hand the floor over to Limburg. Okay, hello everyone. It's nice to see you. So as Vicky um, was saying, the financial support that we have for the local elections are open to the Council of Europe countries. Uh, you can see on the, on the slide, the breakdown of the budget. So we have a budget of, um, uh, for local transport, uh, guest speakers or facilitation, um, so audiovisual production and documentation, uh, the rental of a, of a space to run the, the, the local action. Uh, material costs and um, and printing costs. So in general, the the rule is that we have a 800 budget, uh, 800 euros uh, budget for for each action. But um, but something that is important to note also is that um, sometimes the the expense might go a little bit over, like on each line, or or it could be a little bit less because uh, it's difficult. It would be difficult to really to really. Uh, uh, how do you say spend as as it is on the budget, and in theory, um, yeah, that that's okay. But oh, but something that we ask the the partners is that when uh, when the budget uh, deviates a little bit from the from from those amounts, just to let us know to make sure that it's okay. And uh, and in general, uh, it shouldn't surpass the eight hundred euros uh, budget that we have. Um, I think uh, in terms of the budget, something that I that I would say is that when we accept uh, the local actions that uh, that you submit we send you an email in which we tell you like what the requirements are for um for getting like the the, the financial report uh, the reimbursement and um and i can tell you like just quickly but uh, but i think it's also like it, it will be in the email so uh, so if, if it's something that you don't retain here then it's okay in theory, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that uh, you need to provide all of the receipts or invoices um, and the proof of payment to justify all of the costs. So, so you would need to keep like all of these documents, like scan them so that you can send them to us uh, later, later on. Um, and also uh, if the documents are not in, uh, in English um, or French that they be accompanied by a translation. Like it could be something simple, just uh, explaining like what the date of the of the expenses, the like the description, the amount, um, and uh, yeah, and, and just just that that should be enough. Um, so once you keep all of these documents, um, there's also uh, an expenditure re uh, report and reimbursement re request form that you could. Uh, fill out and send to us. Um, so, so you will send that, uh, fill it out with like all of the expenses, uh, attach all of the documents, uh, all of the, like the receipts and invoices and proof of payments. And then there would, there, there's also a link to an activity report, which uh, you will need to send. And also photos of the project. So we can see, uh, uh, we, so, so we can see some, some of the photos of what took place. Um, so in general, that's the, that's the information that, that I could give you at the moment. In case you have any questions, obviously you could uh, you could email us, or or perhaps at some point um, you can uh, you can ask us. Uh, I'm not sure if you if we will have like a like a question and answer, Vicky. Yeah, I think okay. we can ask questions now about this, and then I'll continue with the other points afterwards. So if okay. there's any questions at this stage, please go ahead. No? Okay, so I will move on. Um, um, and then we just wanted to tell you a bit more about the online advocacy. So this is where we're going to be showcasing your local actions, so the ones that you apply with, and sharing your articles. So there's an online platform that we're just um, finalizing at the moment, and it's called Regenerate Reconcile, and it's on this platform where we'll be highlighting all of the different actions. Um, especially there'll be some key dates which are taking place and some different activities that a CCIVS is running. So on the 22nd of May, there was the World Biodiversity Day. 
on the 26th of September is the World Environmental Health Day, on the 5th of December, World Soil Day. Um, and for each of these different dates, we'll be uh, organizing online events. So on the 26th of September, there's already an online event um, organized, which will be looking at permaculture design. And then we'll be sharing future activities on different dates as they come. Um, we also have this possibility. So if you're looking to apply for, for a project to the European Youth Foundation of the Council of Europe, then we can actually help you with the application projects uh, process for projects um, submitted by uh, CCIBS member organizations or young volunteers that are willing to apply for projects. So we ask you to um, submit your baseline project request and then we can follow up with you um, for this, this proposal. We do ask you to apply fairly soon because the sessions will be taking place uh, very shortly and this will be done online with an expert. Then we also have the CCIBS Island site, which has different uh, online courses available. And you have earth advocacy and living soils, everything gardens, bioconstruction. There's many other courses on there at the moment, and there will be some new ones coming soon as well, focusing around advocacy for living earth. And I think there was just one point which is missing. For some reason, it's skipped. Yep, this is one. So it's the Earth Advocacy Mentorship Program. And this is actually ongoing at the moment, but you can catch up with the sessions because they're online on our YouTube channels and we still have spaces open for this program. So it's uh, every two weeks on a Thursday from 6.30 until 8.15 8 um, CET. And the, as I said, the former sessions will be followed online and the new sessions that we'll be following are on the 25th of August the 8th and 22nd of September, the 6th and 20th of October, the 3rd and 17th of November. And there'll be a webinar in December and there'll be two group planning sessions of your choice. So you can join up with a group to join this. And these sessions are led by two experts in soil and advocacy, Kate and Giada. And this is supported by the LIFE program of the European Union and the EYF Council of Europe. So if you're interested, send us an email and we can send you more information about this. It's super interesting. So I really recommend joining this great possibility to have mentorship around um, earth advocacy. And I think there was one more thing that was missing, but I can't see it there. Ah, yes, there was the link that was going to be sent to you here. So there's also a link where we can um, send you, we send you the link in the chat and you can submit articles. So if you're not going to apply with a specific project, you can also submit an article to us about actions that you've run and then we can highlight them on the online advocacy platform. So we really invite you to also share with us your stories, different articles that you want to share about things that you're organizing on a local level. And then we can really make this space um, a very interesting interactive space where you can learn about actions taking place all over the world and you can be inspired by others and uh, inspire others also. So that's it. It's just a short presentation to give you a quick overview about some opportunities that we have available at the moment with the Living Earth campaign. Um, if you have any questions or comments, then you are free to make them now. Otherwise, you can contact us on the email address, which is written in the screen, and you also have our social media buttons as well. So are there any questions at this stage? Yes. Yeah, Delta, go ahead. Um, which is the eligible period for uh, the local activities? It's until the end of the year, so... We, oh, okay. We, yeah. The end, the end uh, the then we apply, if we are interested, we apply to CCIBS. Yeah, there's um, we can send it you the link. It was not very clear this uh, you mentioned about the possibility to support, to be supported by CCIBS to apply to... Okay, so there's two different things. One is... This is different. Yeah, so one is for the local actions. You can apply um, to have for the micro grants, the support for your local actions. Uh, and then the other one is um, a support by experts to apply for projects to the EYF. So they can help you um, design your project and go through your project with you in order to apply for, for projects okay. to the EYF. But this is something different. So the one to CCIBS, we mm. will send the information out to you so you have the link. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, but there is no deadline for uh, submitting our application for the local action. Before the end of the year. Idea. It should take place this year. Okay. Okay then. Well, just to thank everybody for your time. Um, and again, to invite you, if you do have any further questions, if you'd like to receive any links, if you want to join our newsletter, um, where you get lots of information as well about these different things which CCIBS is organising, then send us a mail, go onto our website, check out what's there, the newsletter inscription is also there, information about Living Earth is there and all the other different activities that we organise. So feel free to check in, see what's going on and join us. Thank you and take care.